What's going on guys? Welcome back to Real Life Ura. Now we're on Minecraft Xbox 360 edition right now and we're going to be doing another let's build. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you guys how to build a wizard tower. This is a picture of it in the top left. Boom, right there. So that's what we're going to be making and I'm going to show you in a fast paced thing how we're going to do it and I'm going to you know, talk over and show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, for the first step, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and build the base. So I'm just adding a little bit more grass so I can have more space to work with here. But I'm going to make the base out of uh, cobblestone right here. You can make it out of whatever you want to make your, uh, your two main blocks out of your tower. But you just want to build a circle for your, uh, your actual base of the thing. This will help you in the end of telling, you know, the, how high and wide and everything to make this. So go ahead and make a base out of whatever material you're making the tower out of. And yeah. <laughs> Now, as we build this tower up, what we want to do is we want to have the different segments. Uh, we want to have an alternate of two blocks. I was mentioning two blocks earlier. We want to have two main blocks. So mine is the uh, wood logs and the cobblestone. We're going to alternate those between each other so we can, uh, you know, make it look a little bit more, you know, fancy, <laughs> for a better word. But basically... We want to have this more random, so we're going to have certain pieces longer than the others, so it's not just flat and like, you know, uh, five high of logs, five high of cobblestone, five high of logs. No, we want to have like one section of logs, six high, one section, three high, one section of cobblestone, two high in between there. Just to give it a more like natural and, uh, you know, natural feel instead of just a blocky <laughs> feel. So do that and then just watch as I do it. We're going to place a few more stairs around the side just so we don't have the flat uh, block to block step. So we're just going to add some uh, some stairs. I originally started with jungle wood, and then I decided it didn't really fit the uh, the spruce wood too well. So we went ahead and switched to spruce stairs as well. It gives it a darker, nicer feeling. So you'll see that in a second. And a key thing with when building this type of, you know, structure, anything that's, you know, fantasy-like with this, is you want to have it more than just flat. You want to have it multiple, you know, three-dimensional, not a flat wall or anything. So as you can see, along with the alternating of, of the two main blocks, we're also adding in those half slabs that you saw me fill the background to a minute ago. That just adds more depth to it, and overall it gives it a better look and more organic and stuff, rather than just having a flat wall. So you can throw that in wherever you see it comfortable to fit it. In, but uh, I would really highly recommend putting multiple three-dimensional spots in there for you. So the shape of this will sort of be like an hourglass. We're going to have a bigger base, then a skinnier middle, then a bigger, you know, top part. Uh, with the top part, what we're going to have is we're going to have it extend down. And it's going to be so, sort of supported by these uh, fences as sort of framework. And we want to have it come out a few blocks, actually. Now, it's going to look bigger than the actual base down below. That's really your preference, whatever, however you want to do it. But you just want to have this section at the top a little bit thicker than the middle section that we just had thinning before. Now we're actually getting to the top part, which is where the uh, the top, you know, point actually piece that you usually see when you look at a wizard tower or whatever you want to call it, witch tower. Uh, 
with this and also with the top bit that I was talking previously about, you want to basically just mess around with it, fool around with it. Instead of having like a set of designs or whatever, like you see me changing a lot of stuff, it's because it looks better different ways. And you can just, you know, it's trial and error seeing which way works best. So just mess around with it and see uh, what you can do to change it and make it look better. Because odds are the, the original idea that you have isn't going to look the best and you'll think, oh, hey, this will be a good idea. So go ahead and just alternate. And in this roof part here, I do not recommend making a one big point. What I'm doing right here is I'm having sort of a slope part, then, a, then another piece of the actual tower base type thing, then another point. So it adds a little bit more depth to it, and, uh, you know, rather than just having it uh, more, more depth and more structure to it, rather than having just one point and basic tower like that, then we have more sophisticated, like, Chinese-style builds. And here we're just going ahead and filling in, filling in the remains and stuff so we not have any see-through parts. So, yeah.